So my name is Dr. Christopher Hartnick, and I'm um, uh, one of the directors of Operation Airway, and I run the pediatric uh, ENT program at Mass Eye and Ear Infirmary at the Harvard Medical School here in Boston. Uh, this is to, to some degree to talk to healthcare providers as well as parents about juvenile respiratory uh, papilloma, which is an HPV uh, uh, type viral mediated uh, disorder that can cause wart-like lesions to grow in a child's airway. Um, it's important to know that this is HPV, so it is a, a sexually tra transmitted disease uh, for the mothers, but not for the children. So what we want to be very clear to know is that children do not pass this from one to another by holding hands, by drinking from the from a water bottle, by, by doing anything like that. This is a this is this happens from mother to uh, with mother father or, or uh, male female coupling, and and in that in that scenario. Um, and then if a mother has active vaginal papilloma at the time of delivery, often a cesarean section is considered, whereas if a mother does not have active uh, papilloma, often a cesarean section is not uh, considered. That said, there have been children born with uh, papilloma to mothers who have given birth uh, via cesarean uh, section as well as uh, through the vaginal de delivery route. So either way, the children can get papilloma. What's important to know about papilloma is that um, its diagnosis can be very, um, uh, it can be hard to diagnose. Children can present with a chronic cough, they can be present with increased snoring at night, they can present with hoarseness at night uh, and hoarseness during the day, which is getting worse, they can present with difficulty breathing. So it can be like asthma or any other diagnosis. But what's important is if, either, if your child or the child that you see is hoarse and is getting hoarser, um, and that's just out of context, that we absolutely need to do an exam, a little scope going through the nose to see if there's uh, any kind of lesions like a papilloma or not. It's not, you can't just say a child has vocal cord nodules, a child who is hoarse can have papilloma until proven otherwise. If you look at the children's vocal uh, cords and there's any lesions that are suspicious, the diagnosis of papilloma is made by a biopsy. It's very important that that be biopsy to know that it's cancer or not, as papilloma is not cancer, it's a growth. But it does tend to grow and it can grow back and back and back. So many of these children uh, can need m multiple procedures uh, during the course of a year as their symptoms uh, recur, whether that be hoarseness or shortness of breath. And some of these children actually require uh, adjuvant medical therapy uh, at the same time if they're having more than four to six uh, times a year where they need to go to the operating room. And as some of you will be hearing, we do have a research study where we we're, we're, we're are collecting tissue and blood and looking for a vaccine or an immune therapy for this uh, disorder because it is so disruptive for both children and for adults. So we hope that we have a better care uh, way of treating these children tomorrow than we do today.